Welcome to Zcast, everybody. I'm Zia Scaravato from ZK Research, and I'm uh, here at IBM with a couple of gentlemen who do networking at IBM, which is you know pretty cool. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, first up is uh, Morali uh, Gunluru, Gunluru yeah. Yeah. Uh, who's VP of uh, Software Provider Networking. Just quick intro on yourself and what you do here. Yeah, hi, I'm Murali Murali Gunluru, and I'm the Vice President of Product and Strategy here at IBM Software. Uh, I'm specifically responsible for the software networking portfolio here. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Liam. And, uh, and Liam, you, Liam Curtin, you're an offering manager for IBM? That's correct, yeah. I'm uh, the go to market offering manager for our new product, Hybrid Cloud Mesh. And so, so uh, when I think of IBM, I think of compute, I think of quantum, I think of AI, all these things. I don't really think of networking, though. Uh, why is IBM in networking now? Enterfri enterprises today, the modern enterprises, are going through a really interesting time. They have a highly distributed user, application, and data asset base. And this asset base is spread across edge, public cloud, and private cloud environments, and multiple cloud environments, in fact. Yeah, which I refer to as distributed cloud, right? Distributed it's cloud. It's one big cloud spread across everything. Exactly. Yeah. But they, their IT teams, are const still struggling with the ability to provide their lines of business with consistent, scalable, and secure and predictable environment for operating their, this vast uh, infrastructure. And so that's the problem IBM Software Networking is looking to address. Yeah, and so um, when I think about the needs of networking in uh, distributed cloud, it's certainly different than traditional networks which were um, uh, well, why don't you talk about that? What are traditional networks not giving companies uh, that they need today? And more specifically, I thought software-defined WANs was supposed to be the solution to all networking problems. What What is that not giving them? Yeah. Um, we have moved consistently over the past 12 years from solving the, S, uh, from the data center problem with SDNs to solving branch connectivity to one or multiple clouds to now uh, a need for any to any connectivity. And this connectivity is uh, has to be driven by the applications. Remember, it's the users, applications, and data that are primarily driving the need for access across this and various, you know, this vast disparate environment. And so the problem that we are trying to address is a simple, scalable, seamless, and secure, and application-centric hybrid cloud access onto heterogeneous environments. Okay, I think the last words you used there, application-centric is the key. Yes. And most networks aren't, they're... Very they're, static. They're network-centric. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I guess, and, and don't really contribute to that. So, uh, you guys announced something called hybrid mesh, or hybrid cloud mesh today. Yes. Uh, what is that in the context of networking? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and... Um, so, hybrid cloud mesh is our solution for that. You know, as you mentioned, um, you know, modern networks are very stat network centric networks. Uh, network centric, very static, and your network is in the center of everything you do. The network has to be there. All of your policies and security needs to be associated with that. That all needs to be in place before your application or service can work. With our net application centric hybrid cloud mesh, we've put the application in the center of everything we do. Here at IBM, we're very much an application platform type of uh, set up here. Um, that's our core strength is in those in that area you rightly pointed out. This is a new departure for us. This is a new thing for us to get into. It's not actually that new. We did do token ring. That was quite some time ago. Um, but we're here now and we've got this really good, what we believe is a, a groundbreaking um, new product where the network will actually follow your applications. And it's a, I think that, that that use case where you can define all of your policies, your connections associated with all of your applications. And when your application goes and moves, you migrate that to a cloud or one cloud to another cloud or bring it into your edge environment. All of those policies that you have associated with it, they move with it. You get automatically, your connectivity comes back into play. And it's a, as Morley was mentioning, it's a very simple solution that allows for just about anybody to do it. It's near self-service networking. So, so what are the components of it? How does it work? And is it complicated to get set up? No, actually, the, the, the key point here is that it is built, first of all, it's a SaaS offering. Yeah. Because historically, the more advanced networks have gotten, the more, gotten more complicated they've gotten. Exactly. Right, yeah. the, the idea here is to, to get away from the complexity of the traditional 
underlay technologies and focus on the providing agility, flexibility and granular control to the applications that are accessing services, applications that is actually accessing data services across this environment. And this is offered through a SaaS um, and with a distributed enforcement of, of gateways, centralized policy um, that can be uh, provided with a common user experience dashboard. Um, and that's the product, it's IBM Hybrid Cloud Mesh. Yeah. All right, Liam, well, I have a question for you. So IBM's known as the cloud company, right? Obviously, you've been in compute a long time, big part of cloud. How does what you're doing with hybrid mesh cloud relate to what you, the IBM cloud? Uh, the only real relationship there with IBM cloud is that we can manage applications within IBM cloud as well. Um, what we do have is our, our hub or our SaaS platform itself. At the moment, that's hosted in IBM Cloud, but it could be hosted just about anywhere. Um, it's containerized, it's uh, perfectly portable, and you can use that anywhere based on that uh, Red Hat um, motto, build once, run anywhere, it works the same way. All right. All right, the, thanks. the gateways can be deployed across any environment, so you can connect anything to anything, any environment to any environment as well. And so I, I love the point that you know Liam just mentioned, the Red Hat motto, build once, run anywhere. How do you actually do that? Right? That's the power of IBM Hybrid Cloud Mesh in conjunction with, as you might know, we acquired a company called NS1 that allows us to know which application is talking to which application service. And on top of that, we have SEV1, which is our observable network observability platform, which is able to take uh, traffic data from our mesh and then be able to provide insights on what, what problems are, are occurring, what to do about it, corrective measures, and so on. Okay, Marali, um, last week I was actually at IBM Think uh, 2023. Uh, big topic conversation there, probably the biggest topic conversation was artificial intelligence. Absolutely. Right, and that's been infused into networking products all over the way. So how does AI fit into what you guys are doing on networking? Because we're offering this as a SaaS, um, for, with a centralized policy and control, um, we have now we have the ability to in, do intelligent traffic optimization. We, we, we have the ability to figure out uh, what the current latency is for particular access of a service across multiple cloud environments, make adjustments and reroute traffic accordingly, uh, deploy waypoint gateways that allow us to take the most efficient path. So a lot of that intelligent insight comes from us integrating with our AI capabilities that you heard a lot about already today. All right, well thanks for the overview. One more question, uh, uh, when's it available? And if customers want to learn more, where can they go to find more information? Yeah, um, we, we are currently uh, announcing early access program for all enterprises. And um, to learn more about it, uh, you can go to our website, uh, which uh, is... I'll, I'll include the link perfect. directly in the product below. Awesome. Thank you. And um, essentially, we're looking to go generally available later this year. All right, well, it's good to have IBM back in networking. Uh, obviously, a big part of the cloud today. In fact, uh, one of the uh, interesting uh, data points from my research is that business leaders actually believe the network is significantly more important today than it was a few years ago, and that's because we live in a world where everything's connected. Absolutely. So, so I'm Alav uh, Morali and Liam from ZS Caraval from ZK Research. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on another Zcast.